Jeanne d'Arc had liberated Orléans and put the English army to flight. However, as the English retreated, they became an obstacle for Charles the Dauphin. He needed a clear path from Chinon to Reims, where he would be crowned king. Nearing the town of Pate, the English sought to regroup. But Jeanne d'Arc and her French army were closing in. Fleeing the Loire Valley, the English were on the run. As they retreated northwards, a French vanguard was in close pursuit. French faced a surprise attack from the English rearguard. A detachment of English archers blocked the road with palings, an effective measure against cavalry. The French vanguard had to clear the road if they were to call in reinforcements. With the road cleared, the French army could safely bring in reinforcements from nearby allies. The French army paid their ally and received a detachment of reinforcements. The French army saw a chance to bolster their numbers and sent payment to their ally in return for reinforcements. Sending gold to their ally, the French army received fresh reinforcements. Je 
Hearing the rallying cry of the English coming from the village of St. Sigmund, the French were alerted to the enemy position. The French recaptured St. Sigmund and prepared to rendezvous with Jean d'Arc. But a large English detachment had set up a blockade. So long as that force was in place, the French vanguard could not reach Jeanne. the English blockade destroyed, the French vanguard rejoiced at the arrival of Jeanne d'Arc and her troops. With their rear guard eliminated, the remaining English forces would now seek to escape the valley through the town of Pate. Three enemy regiments were converging on the town along three main roads. Jeanne had either to stop the regiments on the roads, or race ahead to fortify Pate itself.
After an intense pursuit and a hard-fought battle, the French crushed the remaining English army, thwarting their desperate retreat. Now the triumphant Jeanne d'Arc could safely lead Charles de Reims for his coronation as King of France. The Battle of Pate was a disaster for the English. The French wiped out their bowmen and drove their forces from the Loire Valley. Now for Jeanne d'Arc and the Dauphin, the way to Reims was clear. The Maid of Orléans rode with the Dauphin through the streets and was at his side when he was finally crowned King Charles VII of France. But less than two years later, Jeanne was captured in battle, sold to the English, and put on trial for heresy. She spent six months locked in a dungeon awaiting her fate. King Charles, who owed his crown to Jeanne, did nothing to help win her freedom. She was found guilty. On May 30th, 1431, Jeanne d'Arc was brought here, to the old market square in Rouen, where she was burned at the stake. She was 19 years old. But what the Maid of Orléans started could not be denied. 
Her victories were the first in a chain of successes for France's military. Liberty was within reach. Thanks to the leadership of two brothers, Jean and Gaspard Bureau, the French army became experts in the use of artillery, transforming it into a disciplined modern fighting force. In 1448, King Charles was ready to make a major move against the English. He vowed to retake Normandy.